Welcome to TechX Media. We are at Jitex Global 2025, and I have with me right now Mr. Kalabion. He is Senior Director System Systems Engineering, Middle East at Fortinet. Let's welcome Mr. Kelly on TechX Media. Thank Hi. you very much. How are you? It's a great pleasure to be here today. Uh, thank you very much for the invite. So, uh, Kelly, tell us what Fortinet is showcasing at Jitex this time. So, this year, one of the big focus areas we have is uh, operational technology. Uh, we've got a uh, special kit that we can show use cases uh, for our customers, how the uh, uh, solutions that we carry help uh, them secure their OT environments. Uh, we've got also a special kit that uh, is meant for uh, uh, rapid mobile deployment environments. It's a ruggedized kit that effectively contains everything that you might need to bring in a network to a location where you have potentially had a failure, or maybe it's a new location that didn't have any kind of a network before. A single uh, briefcase, you could say, that contains basically wireless uh, access, security, as well as 5G connectivity to the rest of the world. Interesting. So, Kelly, AI and automation are gaining ground, and they are the biggest theme of uh, Jitex this year. How is Fortinet adapting these technologies to make security more accessible and more uh, easy for its clients? So, for us, AI is uh, something that has been already quite close to Fortinet for many, many years. Uh, about uh, 10 years ago, we started utilizing machine learning. Uh, back then, the idea was to uh, filter out various uh, threat feeds that we got. Uh, it was impossible to go through them with uh, human eyes and hands to identify what is malicious, what is not. So, we have a long history with uh, utilizing machine learning to uh, include those in our products as well. More recent times, I think the, the Gen AI has brought in the AI Assist part that we've implemented now on uh, multiple different products and solutions that we already have. And the idea with the AI for us really is to, first of all, you have the security aspect, but on one side is the Assist part, which really is, if we use uh, uh, military terms, would be a force multiplier for uh, our customers' uh, SOC teams, uh, really to help them uh, speed up uh, the tasks that they're doing, automate a lot of the things and the benefit here also is that because we have the Fortinet security fabric that it extends across multiple different platforms and products that we carry, not just Fortinet's products, but we go beyond our own solutions. We support also third-party uh, vendors within this uh, security fabric. The AI can actually be integrated together with the fabric, so it allows this automation to go way beyond uh, our own products uh, as well. All right, very interesting. So. Um, uh... The, the pace at which digital transformation is happening now, there are new sec security challenge now, challenges. What, what are the biggest security challenges you see as, an, as a cybersecurity expert? I, I think the big problem really is that uh, there are so many point solutions that have been uh, identified and deployed. So what we see with customers is because of the digital transformation happens, uh, the customer networks change. Uh, they need new solutions. They deploy new solutions for their business purposes, but those solutions need to be also secured. Uh, in order to secure these solutions, quite often we see point solutions that cover that particular use case only. And that's led into a situation where we see customers with 50, 60, 70 different uh, solutions running on their environment. And you might have one type of solution protecting the cloud part, and you have a different vendor protecting uh, the uh, data center for the same solution. So it becomes extremely complex. Uh, securing this has become really a headache. Maintaining, managing these solutions, ensuring that there are teams that actually can operate and maintain those uh, security solutions as well is a big problem. Um, what we really see is the move away from these individual point products into a more platform-based approach, where customers actually deploy various platforms from a, a handful of vendors. So instead of having 50, 60 uh, vendors on their environment, Maybe they have five, six different uh, vendors that offer the same solutions uh, uh, as, a, as a platform. And what the platform enables customers to do really is to do integration. And the first step is integration, and the next step would be the automation. That's again where the AI story comes play in very nicely, where we can assist customers to uh, manage and operate the environment. Uh, for example, from a SOC team perspective, we can look at doing uh, threat hunting, we can automate a lot of things. We can automate reporting. Uh, so the life of a SOC administrator becomes a lot more simpler uh, and they can focus on the important tasks when there is a platform to manage, not 10, 20 different uh, products to manage. Correct. 
Uh, also, see, uh, uh, Fortinet often talks about closing the cy uh, cyber security gap, cyber skills gap. What steps is the company taking to uh, train the local talent? So one of the things was uh, the product training. Uh, Fortinet has obviously product training, but we have also general security training. Uh, since COVID, we've actually made all of those available and free for everybody. So anybody can go to Fortinet uh, training website. You can download the training content. Whether it's a generic security training or whether it is the actual product training, you can go through the content uh, with zero cost to, uh, to everybody. On one side also, we're working with universities. So we have a whole academic uh, program that effectively allows Fortinet to uh, work together with uh, various different universities. And we have several of them in the region already where we can provide our uh, network uh, security expert uh, training program to the universities so that uh, the students can take it as part of their curriculum and uh, get trained. And for the younger uh, children, we've also have a special uh, program and uh, trainings that we can provide to uh, uh, primary school uh, students uh, that cover security. And obviously the content is a little bit different, uh, but it is still something that will teach even younger children on the importance of uh, security. Um, all the way from uh, phishing emails to uh, understanding uh, what kind of uh, risks and threats there are with uh, viruses and malware. Thank you so much, Kelly, for joining us today and for sharing these insights with us. It was great talking. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.